Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Ameya and we are discussing Ultimaker Cura for your 3D printing jobs and uh, Ultimaker is basically software which uh, we learned in last video how to install that and which can be used uh, in between your CAD model and 3D printing jobs. So Ultimaker will provide you the sliced file which is ready to print. Okay. So this is what the first look of Ultimator uh, will be. Let us uh, find how we can open various documents in Ultimaker. So you can just go to this uh, left hand top icon, folder icon, which will give you the open option. And in open, you will find the various locations on which you can basically create uh, or call the files from the system. So Ultimaker basically uh, supports all these type of 3MF, AMF, even G code files and STL. So if you have any CAD file which is same as STL file, you can call it from this or else what you can do is if you just want to practice how it's done, you can just go to Thingiverse. Okay, just visit thingiverse.com and you will find many of the STL files directly on your Thingiverse site. I will be providing the link for this Thingiverse in uh, description box. So let us select one of the simple model. So you can explore everything on Thingiverse. There are various things which are available. I will just download a file. Okay, download will start in 2-3 seconds and that will give you the dot exe zip folder you can just close it and let me just open this and let me just take some files from this so Let's take these two files. I will pick randomly. I will copy this on desktop. So let us make a folder on desktop. I already have a folder. Yeah, so I have copied this and I will just click on this file and we will drag it into the Ultimaker. Okay, same way what you can do is you can open a document, you can access a folder and you can open a document whichever it is selected. Okay, so this is the file which we have called. Now, the if you click on this, the location of this file, if you check, it is by default perfectly at the center. Now, this location will match with the actual location on your printer because we have selected the Ultimaker extended tool. So, if it is at the center here, it will be printed at the perfect center of your actual printer. Okay. So, what are the different things we can do before uh, slicing an object? You can all do all these things which are available on the right hand side. These are the modifications part. And this basically will give you the options of moving objects at different location. Okay. Once you go outside the area, it will not show you the complete extruded, uh, complete yellow or solid figure because it is not in a printing area. So try to be in a printing area. Then only you will get this solid model, which will get printed. So the first option is to move model from one place to other place. You can use the arrows or you can use the distance. So if I go for 0 comma 0, that will give you the center location, perfect center location. Okay. This is to move object. Now this is to scale the object. Second option is to scale the object. And now many times what we basically do is we make a prototype of the actual model. If your actual model is very big, you cannot print it on a small bed. So what basically we do is we scale down and print it and we check the prototype for its looks, its appearance, its advantages, its disadvantages, all those things we basically check by a scaled model. So if anyhow you want to scale a model, you have option of uniform scaling. Generally it is kept on and let's say I want to scale it 50%. 
so it will be scaled down to 50 percent the advantage of scaling is part will be uh, done quickly it will take less time less material and you can easily analyze that part once it is printed okay so if it is required you can scale this drawing uh, we prefer basically scaling from this ratio itself there are uh, pointers which are available you can scale from that also but we generally avoid to do that okay because it is not in perfect control so try to find the perfect percentage by which you can scale it fine the third option is rotate now i can print this object in different orientations so what i can do is i can just rotate the object and i can find different orientations by which i can print a model the only problem with orientation is it will generate some extra support so you have to find the optimum orientation by which there will be less number of supports because supports will have the extra material supports will take more time so there are a few options which are available uh, with the material so rotate option so you can reset a model to origin then what you can do is if i am doing something like this it will always uh, be on a base because we are printing it from the base so there is an option of lay flat it will uh, lay flat to the closest flat surface so if i go for lay flat it will give this orientation for lay flat okay and let's say i have a face select option to align a build plate i will just click on this and i will just select this face and that will give me the that face will be aligned with my base plate okay so use this option very carefully rotate option this will decide basically how many uh, how much support you need for your object and how much time it will take depending upon different orientations you will get different support structure and different timing different material length of a material for printing okay and then there is a mirror option you can just click on this it will be mirrored about this mirrored about this mirrored about this so it will be mirrored about x y and z direction if required you can use that mirror option okay so this is all about your different orientations which you can do for a software so let's say i have finalized this and let's do the basic slicing okay so on the right hand side you will find this tab where there are various profiles which are already saved i will just go with a normal okay i will not go with extra fine just say keep infill density i will change to uh, let's say i am going with custom option that is the best option which you can find and uh, instead of gradual fill by default there will be 20% infill now right now i am not generating any support and i can just say slice and yeah so it will show you how much length it is required material length it is required so 1.23 meter of material it is required and you need to have 15 minutes to complete this model okay this is just a basic setting we are not doing anything right now so you can just go to preview and you can find various layers which are getting created in a model okay and then what you can do is once you are done with the preview you are done with the slicing you have done with the basic settings you can just go to save a file if it is connected to your system uh, if your sd card is connected to the system you can directly store it into a sd card or else what you can do is you can just save it on a desktop with a file called g code underscore one that file will have a extension .g code and that will be ready to read from the printer so you can save this file in, in a system you can transfer it to sd card and directly print file on your ultimaker printer okay so the, in this video what we talked about is basically how to orient your model okay how to move how to scale how to rotate how to mirror okay and then very basic slicing and how much time it will take and how much material it will require okay 
in the coming video what we will talk about is what are the different settings basic settings which are available so that you can customize those settings to get the proper print okay so let us meet in next video if you like this content do subscribe my channel follow my channel and do share a word about channel with your friends thank you for joining